The amouage is associated with ultimate craftsmanship, creativity, and synonym with the high class when it comes to niche perfumery, we have no doubt. But is the new from the Secret Garden collection, Amouage Love the Light, a hit or a miss? Let's talk about this. It's coming up right now. Welcome back to another video, Max Forte here. If you do love to make a great and lasting impression, you know that smelling good is a great way to start. Today we're gonna to talk about the newest edition, newest release from Amouage 2024 release, available since February 8th of this year from their Secret Garden collection, Love the Light. This is available in one size only, the size you're gonna see here in this video, 100 ml, the, the bottle looks great. It has this skin peachy color, and I have to tell you, it feels great to touch this bottle. It feels perfectly on your hand. Um, the actual bottle itself was modeled after skin, so it's soft to the touch. The more you, you feel this bottle, you're gonna see what I'm saying. You're gonna feel exactly what I'm saying. It's amazing to the touch. That's what they were going for. This is available in 3.4 ounces, 100 ml. You're gonna see the box pop on the screen right now, and this retails for $380 USD. Now, as you know, when it comes to homage, the craftsmanship of what they produce their fragrances in is second to none. The sprayers are great, amazing bottles, beautiful combination of art, and of course, the fragrances themselves really are captivating and one of a kind. So Love the Light is the fifth edition, I should say. A lot of people think it's the fourth, but we're gonna get into it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys a quick overhaul on the actual Secret Garden collection, starting with the first release all the way into this one. So before we get into this actual scent, how it smells, if it compares to other things, let's talk about the Secret Garden collection. So first of all, what is the Secret Garden collection? The Secret Garden collection, from what I understand, is a way that Amouage reinvented and restructure the floral fragrances as it were in a very garden-like uh, you know, fashion to really emphasize a certain note or certain floral note aspect in each one of their creations. The first fragrance that took us on this journey of the Secret Garden Collection was Lilac Love, which was a combination of two great noses to put together this fragrance, Natalie Lorson and Elise Benat. Now, this particular fragrance, Lilac Love, is basically a vanilla floral gourmand kind of a scent. You have notes of jasmine, of course, the lilac flower. Most importantly, you have this amazing cocoa dustlings in the base. The scent smells incredible. To me, it smells like a niche version of Coco Mademoiselle adding this vanilla and cocoa powder in the base. Absolutely stunning to this day has been my favorite from the Secret Garden collection, one that I myself like to steal some sprays from my wife. Now, will this one here, Love the Light, dethrone that fragrance? Well, we'll see that in a few minutes to come. But Lilac Love was the first introduction to the Secret Garden collection back in 2016. Fast forward to 2017, a year later, Natalie Lorison and Elise Bernat also put together another creation from Amouage from the Secret Garden collection called Blossom Love. Now, this particular one is the most citrus of all the different creations thus far. It has a very nice bergamot up top with some, you know, citrusy and very bright notes, but it also contained a boozy note of amaretto, which is this almondy kind of a facet, a little bit boozy, very intricate, very mysterious, yet very inviting. Cherry blossom, vanilla, amber, and um, ylang ylang with some of the other notes on Blossom Love. But again, in my nose, floral, yellow floral, of course, but the most citrus of all the different creations up to this point. Blossom Love went to a citrus gourmandy, you know, vanilla gourmandy kind of a dry down as Lilac Love became more powdery and vanillic, but with a cocoa uh, chocolatey powdered in the base. 2018, a year later, Natalie Larson, now this time around, worked solo on this particular fragrance called Love Tuberose. Now, this is the most addictive, the most narcotic of all the creations due to the um, note of tuberose, of course, along with jasmine. This is very indolic, very bold, very big. This is a fragrance that, you know, from, from all the creations up to this point was the most, you know, powerful and bold of all creations. You smell this right off the get-go, it'd be like, wow, what is this thing? It's gonna grab you a hello, it's gonna grab you, capture your attention. It's a room-filling type scent. Um, it is something that I enjoy on other people, but myself, I can't really wear it my, because the tuberose here, along with the jasmine and some of the powerful notes, are just a little bit too floral for my taste. So I don't really gravitate towards these kind of scents, but when I smell it on other people, it's one of those things, wow, you smell incredible. It's gonna keep you coming back for more. It's one of those scents, captivating, addictive, narcotic, you name it, it checks all the boxes. That is Love Tuberose in 2018. This is a fragrance that really made a statement in this particular line. I think Lilac Love was the most wearable one. Blossom Love took things into like the more citrus aspect of Ormond, but this one here was very bold, brash, unapologetically, 
you know, bold. And this is one that really took the Secret Garden collection to the next level. This is 2018 we're talking about. I like to mention that as you get into the heart of the dry down, I love to burrows, it gets really creamy, uh, very gourmandy with the vanilla whipped cream, uh, cedar notes and sandalwood that this fragrance has. As it approaches the heart into the dry down, it becomes creamier, more inviting and easier on the nose in the beginning. The beginning is going to be one of those things that, you know, don't smell it right away because it's really going to be powerful, brash, bold, unapologetically powerful. A year later, 2019 now, the Secret Garden Collection gave us the fourth iteration or the fourth component of this garden collection, as it were, which was called Love Mimosa. Now, the nose behind Love Mimosa in 2019 was Elise Benat, which had worked previously on the two first releases of this collection with Nelly Larson, but with this particular one, she worked solo. Now, this is predominantly a floral, fruity, aquatic fragrance. Now, they went into a more um, wearable, aquatic, uh, kind of a situation here. We have notes of mimosa, of course, ylang ylang, so it's predominantly a very yellow floral type scent with a gorgeous um, bright and fruity pear up top. And the base came with, of course, Umbroxan, which by then was very popular with Heliotrope, which adds this almond marzipan, kind of a dry down. The scent is very floral and you don't hear much talks on Love Mimosa. So it's the one that gets the least amount of talks because it's very predominantly yellow floral. It is definitely my least favorite from all the different Secret Garden collections up to this point. Now we're gonna talk about the newest one five years later. Of course, the newest one, Love Delight. So the fragrance opens up, very appealing, very gourmandy, very sweet, very creamy, a little bit spicy. We're talking about notes of ginger, cinnamon. There's a fruity component here, but they were trying to go for what they were trying to capture with this release from what I understand. Uh, with the release with the launch on February 8th, they were going for this honey glazed pastry accord. And I think that if you spray this on and you think about what I just said, it's gonna come to mind, let's see, like a nice tart, uh, fruity tart or a nice croissant with some uh, you know fruity filling. It's gonna have that honey glaze, almost bread-like. It's gonna be very inviting, uh, very addictive. It smells incredible. And by the way, the nose behind Love Delight is Pascal Garin, which has made incredible, addictive, and just amazing compositions, such as Sense of Woods Plum and Cognac, which happened to be one of my favorite releases in the last few years. So this one here is something that will definitely get you a hello. As soon as you spray the sun, whether on blotter or on skin, it's gonna be something very pleasant, very inviting, uh, sweet, creamy, a little spicy, but definitely floral, definitely gourmandy. So up top, you're gonna be greeted by this rose, ginger, heliotrope, and mandarin orange. So it's gonna have almost like this almondy undertone or amaretto kind of a vibe. If you're familiar with that scent profile, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. It's gonna be a little bit nutty, but not quite. Just, just enough to make things interesting and you know, going into that gourmand side. You're gonna get the vanilla here, definitely. I do have like a whipped cream kind of a vibe here or honey, sweet, facet, uh, pastry kind of a vibe. It is just very inviting. And one good thing about this fragrance, if you love it from the top, you're gonna love it no matter what because the transition here is very min minute. Um, it, it doesn't really, it's not a linear scent per se. And of course on skin, it's gonna change. Everyone's skin's chemistry will make the scent change a little bit and develop, but I'm happy to report that it doesn't really change that much. So it is not a linear scent, but it does have this feeling that you're gonna get from the beginning to the end, which if you like the profile that I talked about, the honey glazed pastry vibe, you're gonna love this from beginning to end. As the fragrance starts to warm up on your skin, you will have more floral predominant notes come through. The heliotrope, almondy kind of a vibe, along with a very narcotic and addictive jasmine will really pop on skin. Uh, as the fragrance warms up. So it becomes definitely more floral than the beginning. The beginning, it's very gourmandy, very sweet, a little creamy. As the fragrance warms up with your body chemistry, at least on my skin, those florals will really pop. The base of Love Delight is my favorite part of the fragrance and the dry down phase. I really enjoyed it on the dry down, not just on myself, but also on my wife and other people that I actually smell this on because you have the notes that I appreciate the most. You have the rum, the boozy fats that really come through adding uh, dimension, volume, and texture to the scent, which was really uh, the best part for me. The cacao, the vanilla, and the cipriol. Now the cacao and the vanilla will definitely add the gourmand facet even more. It's gonna become creamier, uh, that boozy acid, that boozy facet, that boozy facet with the rum will make it very interesting. The vanilla and the cacao will definitely pop, but not much the cacao, more on the vanilla side, almost like that whipped cream vibe that you get with this Secret Garden collection. It's definitely gonna be present on this one as well. So if you do like gourmandy whipped cream kind of scents, you really will enjoy this one. The Cipriol is supposed to give this fragrance a smoky, earthy, 
in warm undertone and it does it very well. The, the fragrance becomes really warm as it dries down. The Cipriol will make it warm, cozier, uh, little hints of smokiness, but not much. There's no vetiver here. There's nothing really earthy or smoky to pair up with that Cipriol and make it very smoky, uh, you know, for that matter, or earthy for that matter. It's going to really stay and retain that gourmand creamy, sweet, sassy, warm, seductive facets. With the, of course, the gourmand nuances, this is without a shadow of a doubt, you know, if you have to classify this, this is a floral gourmand fragrance. So if you like florals and gourmands, this is going to be something that you will absolutely fall in love with. In three words, Love Delight is smooth, sophisticated, and seductive. I like to do this with all my videos, giving you guys a kind of, you know, direction of what I get from this fragrance, meaning what does this remind me of? So this fragrance is going to be not exactly the same, but in the same wheelhouse as your guidance from Amouage itself or Delina from Parfums de Marley. If you like that sweet floral with some gourmand tendencies, that's what you're going to get here. Of course, it's going to be creamier. This is going to be a lot different than Delina, but it's in the same wheelhouse in a scent that's going to have that floral, fruity kind of nuance. It doesn't have the leech, you know, it doesn't have a lot of the notes or musk that Delina has, but it's definitely in the same wheelhouse. If you like Delina, but you wanted something a little bit more bodied and more gourmand-like, this would be a great alternative for that if you are looking for something like that. So who do I envision wearing Love Delight? Whoever likes floral, you know, fruity gourmand fragrances will love this. However, this is going to lean more feminine as the whole entire Secret Garden collection, in my opinion, it still remains the same. This is a more feminine style collection. I think a lady would wear this perfectly. I can see myself sealing some sprays here and there, but this is not something that I gravitate towards as with all the different fragrances from the Secret Garden collection. So definitely a lady. Uh, I think this is great for day wear or nightwear, but dress your situations. Uh, you can definitely rock this as a signature scent if you like this profile and you want this to be your scent. This could be a great signature scent for a lady, but I think this is great for dress your situations, day or night. This is a great all around versatile signature type style fragrance. If you're looking for one, you're a lady out there, you're looking for a great signature scent to really be your mark. When you're walking into a room and you leave, people know you're there or you were there. This is something I will highly recommend and suggest ladies trying on skin because this is special. Of course, works in every season. If it's you know spring and summer, go a little less on the sprayers. If it's going to be fall and winter that you're looking to wear this, go a little heavier, perhaps spray your clothes, you're going to get the most out of this fragrance. But I think the scent profile itself works in every situation, perhaps not in the great heat of summer. That's probably the only time that I would refrain from wearing this fragrance. Perhaps you want something a little bit, you know, fresher, brighter. This is not going to be it for the summertime, the, you know, the heat of the summer, like July, August here in the US, I would probably not rock this. The performance is very good with this one. This is an Eau de Parfum concentration. It pushes very hard for the first hour and a half, two hours, arm's length. You're going to really get the stuff pushing and screaming off your skin. If you spray your clothes, forget about it. Siage will be amazing. Great uh, scent bubble in this one here. People will definitely perceive your, your smell as you walk around. If you spray your, your wrists and your hands and you move about, you're definitely going to give whiffs of this fragrance. Longevity was eight plus hours close to nine to 10 hours. So this is quite good in performance as you would expect with Amouage fragrances. Final thoughts on Amouage's Love Delight. This is a very nice, a fine release from Amouage to kick things off in 2024. I'm very curious to see what more fragrances Amouage will be you know, dropping on us this year. I mean, this is a great star for sure. I'm sure Amouage will have some other things for us to check out this year. And I'm very curious as I'm a huge fan of Amouage. I think Amouage, without a shadow of a doubt, sits in the top five of the best niche fragrance houses in the world today. So guys, check this out if you haven't already. I think it's a great try before you buy it. If you're a guy, not so much, but if you're a lady, I would highly suggest and recommend you guys tracking Love the Light. This could be your best next thing that you find in 2024 or in your fragrance journey uh, for that matter. As always, guys, thank you so much for your support. If you do enjoy the channel, leave a like, subscribe for more, and hit the bell for videos straight into your feed. I will see you right back here with another video very soon. Take care. Cheers.